born in Tucson, uh, Tucson Medical Center, and uh, grew up there. Hi, I'm Terry Goddard. Dad was a lawyer. He was a, uh, a very good one. He uh, practiced in Tucson until he was elected governor in 1964. And he, then from that point, he came to, came to Phoenix because he read in the Constitution that the Arizona governor had to live in the capital city. For the first year, he flew. He was a private pilot, and he was an excellent pilot. And he, he flew himself uh, from Tucson to Phoenix every day uh, for the first year. And finally, he found a place mom liked. She did not want to move. And so they finally moved to Phoenix. Dad was very famous, uh, at least in our family, for saying that every generation has to buy back its freedom. And that's the main reason I ended up volunteering for the military, although I had a draft number of 340. And my mom's family was all involved uh, in public service uh, for many, many years. She had relatives that had done it all, and her immediate grandfather was Secretary of State of Illinois and one of Abraham Lincoln's closest associates. So it's a, it, it, I, you gotta say it was somewhere in the dining room table I got, I got infected. I was a precinct committeeman back in the uh, in the late 70s, um, I ran a couple of petition drives, one of which uh, changed the way the city of Phoenix uh, elects its, its city council. Uh, and then I ran for the only city, the city position that wasn't now part of a district, the at-large position as mayor, and was fortunate against all odds to get elected in uh, 1984. Having been elected four times as mayor, I thought I might try governor. That was not a good idea. Um, bad timing, and uh, then I went to work for the U.S. Department of Housing and, and then ran for Attorney General in uh, 2002, uh, and was fortunate to serve two years there. We spent six years and literally uh, lots of time, lots of effort to try to get the transparency initiative on the ballot first, and then the voters of Arizona passed it by 72 percent, which I thought showed that we were on the right track here. We just had to get on the ballot first. And it is being challenged in court, but it is the law in the state of Arizona right now that you can't hide the identity of someone or a corporation who has contributed to a political campaign. Been blessed to have uh, some extraordinary uh, support, and most importantly, my wife, Monica, who uh, we dated for a number of years. In fact, one of our friends, when uh, we finally got married, raised a toast. We said, may it last as long as it took. And, uh, and now it has. We're, we're significantly beyond the, 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 the original point. But our son, Kevin, is, is a, has a master's degree in sustainability. He's an extraordinary young man who really cares about the planet and, and Arizona in particular. A lot of things, I guess, inspire me. It's a uh, question of, of, of which, wh who do you want to emulate? Uh, and, and certainly my dad was one of them. He, he believed that we had a, an obligation to pay back. Uh, it sounds sort of hackneyed, but I think it was very sincere on his part. He had fabulous talents, and he ended up uh, trying to use them for the state of Arizona. And I, I admired that and thought maybe I could do some of the same. You, you look through history and realize that, that occasionally people have, have stood up against odds and have made a difference. And I think in a small way, we get a chance to do that every day. Mm -hmm.